What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, we're going through conversion functions, and we're going to talk about the JSON conversion function. So, the JSON conversion function allows you to convert a piece of XML into JSON. Why is this useful? Well, for starters, JSON is a very common programming language. Um, it, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Object Notation. So it's kind of the language that um, Dynamics is kind of built on. So whenever you send a request to um, you know Dynamics or the CDS, uh, the response back is usually in the JSON format. So you can kind of interpret it. And we've kind of gone through things like parsing JSON in the past in videos. Uh, and what this allows you to do is it allows you to convert XML into JSON that you may then use later on. So this could be particularly useful if you need to pass a JSON object into um, you know, something else. Uh, maybe you need to pass JSON to a, um, you know, a, a web API or, or you know, put it in a web request, etc. Um, that's why it could be useful. So uh, let's take a look at this today. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you, so I'm in a manual trigger flow here, but we're going to ignore these two inputs uh, and we're in uh, the compose action here. So we'll click in compose, we'll click over to expressions and we'll go down to conversion functions and we've got JSON here and it says converts the input into a JSON type value. Now again, this is a little bit misleading. I don't, it, it says converts the input, it actually is requiring XML. So XML has to be passed in and what it'll do is it'll convert it into JSON to then output into a JSON um, sort of like you know, notation. So I'll click this here and it's just looking for a value. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to Notepad++. Um, and you can't see that very well, um, but what we'll do is we'll move this around a little bit. Uh, and we just have some, uh, some um, fetch XML here. So I've done an advanced find from uh, Dynamics and this is looking at the account entity. So we've got this fetch XML um, query here, which is just um, showing a little little bit of data um, or, or doing a, a query of something. So this is actually fetch XML, this is not XML, um, but it works exactly the same way. Um, the only difference being is that we don't actually have values here, we just have the raw XML format. And this still works, it works fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this out of here and we're going to paste this into the next bit. So one of the other things that I need to do first is at the moment, um, that XML that I copied is just a string, it's just text. Um, you know, Power Automate doesn't know that it's XML, uh, so we actually need to tell it that it's XML. So even though we are doing a JSON convert, we're first going to do an XML convert as well. Um, then I'm going to add a single quotation mark because everything inside it is just going to be a string. Um, so what we're going to say is we're going to say we're going to convert anything inside here into XML first and then we're going to convert that XML into JSON. Now you could do this in multiple steps, you could convert something into XML first and just put the output in here, uh, but I just thought it was easy to just show you the whole step here. So we'll copy and paste from my keyboard buffer and we've got the fetch there and as we kind of like um, tab through this, the keyboard wants to work, we can kind of see we've got the entities, we've got the you know attribute names and things like that in here, uh, and we can go all the way back up to the top, we've got the format and everything else, and there we go. So what this is saying is we are going to convert this XML into JSON, and this XML is being converted from the string. So we'll click OK, and we can see it's updated here. So as we hover over, we can kind of see it in a little better format there. So we'll choose test. I'll perform the trigger action. Just run the flow, ignore the inputs, it's all fine. And we run the flow. And here we have it. So what this has done is this has converted this fetch XML into JSON. So it has broken it down. Um, it's got all this data here. Uh, we can see the, the names and the name attributes here, the primary contacts, all these are broken down. So that's why this is really handy. So you can um, you can convert your XML code 
into JSON and then use that later on. It'll also work if you actually have data in your in your XML as well. Um, that'll then output this as, as JSON in terms of like the values and things. So this is really handy, especially if you use things that use JSON quite a bit. So let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be using this or if you already use this um, and what you use it for. Um, as always, if you could like and share this video if it's been useful, it's always appreciated. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.